Hello boys and girls, I am Callie of Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Motorsport Manager Zero to Heroes series. This is episode 7 I believe and we are going to the Black Sea Grand Prix. But before that, let's check the standings. I mean, Chaka, it's down by 2 points. Laxanen, it's uh, P in P4 right now and the team standings were currently leading by quite a margin. So let's go to the inbox, um, channel 4 interview, some laxanin holding brakes, brakes is holding, the potential, whatever, I think, yeah, I don't, I don't have money, really, so I can't really do much, so, um, and Chaka wins, actually, so that's great, and then, the sponsors are pretty fine, I don't need to fix it, and now it's the pit crews, there's three which is in yellow, so I'm going to change one of them. Next one with a 16 tire, and the fixing one will change it with a 16 uh, uh, fixing. Sorry about that. Um, well, let's just continue to a few days later. F f uh, inbox, which is nothing good I guess and we'll start doing some boring stuff because we don't have anything to do we're just gonna make that part more reliable which we're not even going to use so yeah that's great so now it's the Yokohama Grand Prix of F1 and Millen Grand Prix F2 Sebastian Vettel wins Pierre Gasly second Max Verstappen round off the podium and F2 it's uh, Cullum Eilot Pulp is uh, it's uh, wins and uh, I think Hubert second and uh, I can't see the guy in third and uh, okay interesting so let's head to the vote of front front wings can be developed and uh, I'm just gonna s abstain because I will I think I will go to uh, Formula 2 next year so yeah it doesn't really affect me and it is rejected so yeah, no change at all, so, which is awesome, I guess. And now it's the Formula 1 Rio de Janeiro Grand Prix, round 18. It's Nico Hülkenberg wins it. Um, Pierre, second, Raikkonen, third for Alfa Romeo. It seems like, I don't know, it's maybe reflecting the real world. It might be, just saying. Alfa Romeo has a good start in... Uh, in Australian Grand Prix so watch out for them so um, pre race gossip which is absolutely meaningless let's choose our sponsors for the race Pirelli and then softs I think it's about I think we're just gonna go for eight softs and uh, four mediums as usual and same for Laxanen and uh, part fitting should be all done uh, let's check, should be okay, yeah, all good parts, and let's go to the round 7, Black Sea Grand Prix in Russia, uh, actually it's round 8, but yeah, whatever, so let's go to there, okay, it's Friday practice in Black Sea, it's sunny, it seems like, and um, it's pretty hot, seems like, to be fair, We'll send out Laxanen and Dal Rivala with a better uh, practice knowledge of kind of thing. I don't know. So we're gonna tune the car balance uh, more, ha uh, more oversteer handling, downforce more on the higher side, and speed more on the acceleration side. So um, same with Laxanen. Just, just don't change it that. Um, huge that like yeah massively because it should be pretty much the same just the uh, preference yeah the own preference means things and uh, we have practice we we both gone out that's now raining heavily so I'm just gonna make them get into the pits and change the setup not too good it's just good pull and good for Daravala maybe higher downfalls and more understeer 
and the speed it's uh, more on the top speed side let's continue the race trim and fit on some uh, intermediate tires which uh, get him some inters knowledge it will be helpful because black sea is famous for raining and stuff like that changeable conditions absolutely treacherous uh, weather here black sea and uh, it's unpredictable it's really unpredictable to be fair so let's send them both out and uh, laxin in I forgot to change him to uh, inters so uh, yeah that's a silly one so let's change it to inters and let them get out and you have some knowledge okay they have done there's still one minute left and the inters are uh, pretty much done great great excellent for laxinin we're just gonna send him out I think that's a 96% to be fair and let's send him out with qualifying trim of course and uh, use some soft tires and just get some good laps and uh, maybe get yeah maybe get level one on soft which is pretty much impossible to be fair but um yeah I, I can't do much really we need to get that level into I mean so we're gonna go for softs same uh, to Daravala let them go out for the final minute and yeah the practice session is over and we are really down because we cannot set a lap time uh, in the dry conditions well it really doesn't mean anything just saying okay it's now Saturday qualifying Black Sea it seems like damn conditions very damp indeed it's gonna be raining heavily monsoon conditions I'll say as you can see uh, on the water forecast or whatever this is we're going for qualifying trim and super overtake for Menchaka and uh, qualifying trim and into knowledge for Simulaxanen. So, yeah, let's go out and start the Q1 session. Okay, it's pretty early, so we're just gonna send him out as soon as possible. Although it's moon scene conditions later, but there's no time to waste. We can set another lap time. It's just a bank lap, I'll call. I usually call it a bank lap. Just, yeah, if the second lap is really poor, then this will get us into the top 15, into Q2, basically. So, um, yeah, hopefully this works. And it's actually last, 19th and 20th at last. So we need to set a better lap time, of course, with the softs, because you can see it's just a bit damp. It's turning to the overcast side of weather thing, and um, yeah, hopefully they have a great outlap, and uh, it seems like pretty decent, I, I guess. Not too decent for Menchaka, both overheated, probably not suited for the changeable conditions, adaption wise not too great for him but um we green green minchaka purple purple despite having overheated tires and brakes yeah per uh, absolute nail that lap q1 pole position but it doesn't mean anything at all just saying it really doesn't and um yeah so it's Florsko, Tveter, Schwartzman, Chadwick, and uh, I don't know who that was, out of Q1. And let's go, let's head on to Q2. Still damn conditions, seems like. It's been a trend here. Like, it starts off with damn and really, like, as you can see, it's absolute treacherous conditions. And it goes off, pretty much, I think. But we'll only set a lap time here. Don't think. I don't think we have time. I don't know. It's just gonna be tight, really tight. Set the second lap, and um, 
yeah, out lap, pretty decent for both drivers. Let's sell lap. It's going to be dry again, same as Q1. Um, it's going to be dry, and they both set a pretty decent lap time. We're just gonna secure that place because a lot of people is going for out lap. And uh, let's set a soft tire and set a new lap just to get just to secure that top 10 position, top 10 qualifying position. Just saying, um, which is come like which is essential, which is crucial. I mean, for us, like really moving teams, you really need it. Just saying, so yeah. So, they both said it, second and P9 for Laxman. that is very lucky, I, I guess, but it's not really, because the six drivers not set a lap time with the Sops, which is Ahmed, Florsch, Armstrong, Monga, and Sato out of Q2, and the lucky one is Hugs, uh, which goes into Q3 with that, into lap, and now it's Q3, seems like it's probably dry I don't know can't see no actually it's a little bit of rain so um don't know here really don't know let's send them both out it's gonna be crazy weather soon so we're just gonna waste another intermediate tire another set of intermediate tire just to set a bank to lap time which probably doesn't mean anything in Q3 but what we'll just head on do that stuff, I guess. And um Yeah. Overheat overheated for Minchak again. Adaption pretty low. It's absolutely monsoon conditions. Really wet. Can't do much really, I, I guess. And um well, yeah. To the end of a Call Q3 were P8 to P10, so we definitely need to change this. Uh, probably set, probably go for another far, uh, soft tires lap. And it's final minutes of the session. It's it's really now, now, now or nothing basically. No, never. And uh, both green sector one. Both green sector two, it's down by I don't know. Minchaka second, Laxinen only eighth. That's not too great, really, for Laxinen. Doesn't seem to uh, suit this track. And um, yeah, Q3, Minchaka second front row with uh, I don't know who that was. And now it's Black Sea Grand Prix Sunday. It seems like it's sunny. There might, there all, there is always a chance of having wet, damp conditions. And let's go for the light-footed soft tires and race trim for Minchaka, Laxinen into into knowledge and uh, race trim for him. And let's attack and overtake, of course, on the first lap, or else you're just gonna lose out really massively. And uh, yeah, starting grid. And one light, two lights, three lights, four lights, and five lights. And here it goes for the Black Sea Grand Prix. Minchaka does not have a good start. He's quite far behind already. He's getting challenged by Fenetraz, I think. Down to, uh, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now turn six. It's now going to turn seven. Minchaka still keeping that uh, second position. 10, turn 10 now. Laxinen keeping that sixth place. Uh, he's gone to sixth place from eighth. Now it's turn 11 through this sweeping left hander. And uh, should be securing that sixth place. Sixth place. It's a. Uh, F, uh, it's a Super GT meme, I mean, yes it is, and uh, oh wow, he's up to 5th, absolutely crazy, um, picking off that, yeah, pretty decent. Ok, 
Okay, it's now lap eight, and they need they needed to pit um, for a set of mediums, and um, yeah, fast pit stop. Hopefully, no mistakes. And um, Laxton, yeah, no mistakes. Pretty decent. Minchaka, he can stay for a little long longer because he got the. Uh, or a more slowly uh, tire trait or whatever that is and now he should pit this lap so um, yeah for a set I think it's going for mediums probably the safest way or maybe soft it's lap 10 though I don't know it's just probably gonna be mediums so um, yeah he's nearly Turn 11, now it's turn 12, and uh, seems alright. Oh no, the front left. That costs us a lot of time, maybe losing up the P1 position. But it's now lap 18, there's wet weather, and um, fast pit stop for Menchaka and Laxinen. Inters, go for. And they need, need to push the tires just to maximize the tire strength and uh, let's go into the pits should be all fine now yep it's a 2.6 pit stop and it's uh Laxenen all fine 2.6 for him too and it's now lap 24 three laps left then Sharka second trying to get um Fenetraz I think and meanwhile, uh, Laxinen's down in P5, which is still fine. He's he's just out of um, championship contention. It's just Menchaka versus Flores. And actually, I think she is uh, only P6. So we're going to gain a massive lead on him. Might be even getting the lead of the championship. And uh, yeah, Menchaka finishes second. Laxinen, fifth. That is pretty good race, I guess. It's it's a pretty good race after what like winning two times in a row or at least once and a lot of podiums. And yeah, it's now the tie history. Soft mediums and inters. Pretty much everyone goes for this one. Some just go gone for mediums, mediums, inters, and others goes for uh, medium soft inters. And the set of tire team seems like a lot of teams just opt for more mediums for this race. I don't know why. I really don't know why. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Scrunteering should be all fine. And um, yeah, it's all fine. So Minchaka gets 18, uh, 18 points and Laxon gets 10 points. And uh, Menchaka leads. Menchaka leads here. And Campos Jr. keeps that first place. Now it's the team reports. Diego Menchaka getting really experienced, I guess. Laxinen, a bit better. And we are nearly out of the debit debt. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for today's episode. Hope you guys fully enjoy. Next time, it's round 9, the last round, Phoenix Grand Prix. I um, hope you guys fully enjoy. Smash that like button and the subscribe button for more quality content videos. And I'll catch you next time. Bye!